What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day today and I hope it gets even better from watching this video. Today we're talking all about how to upgrade your life, level up in all areas. We're gonna be covering so many things, okay? And these are gonna be like practical exercises, things you can do to really make a big difference. We'll be covering mindsets, stepping into a new chapter of your life, finances, dating, your physical glow up, like everything so that you can really end this year on a high start to already become the person you want to be and then you can step into the new year truly feeling amazing if you're new to my channel hi i'm nika welcome i make videos all about self-improvement and i like to make them very actionable like here are the tips the tricks so you can actually make a significant change in your life so if that works for you i would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out my social media if you want to see more of my personal life and without further ado let's start your new chapter. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna consciously and fully step into your selfish era. I don't mean that you now get to be an asshole to everyone around you, okay, that is not what this is. Your selfish era is just a time for you to be hyper-focused on yourself and your goals and everything you want to become and achieve. The whole premise of this is that you are going to be showing up for yourself consistently and you're gonna show yourself a different way. I know there's been times where you felt like people didn't show up for you or maybe didn't show up in the way that you needed or wanted. You've been disappointed by people. People have let you down. I'm sure that has happened. Do not be that person for yourself. You need to show yourself another way. Here you're going to learn and see what it feels like and looks like to consistently show up for yourself, to be able to rely on yourself, support yourself, give yourself what you actually want and need long term. And that is so powerful. It dictates literally the rest of your life. All of your relationships transform when you transform your relationship with yourself. I don't know if you've heard the saying of you can tell what kind of love a woman thinks she deserves by her relationship, by the man she decides to date. So here we are actually gonna be creating a woman that thinks she deserves the best because that's what she gives to herself consistently. Consistency is you showing up for yourself more often than you don't. And you're gonna start slow, okay? You're gonna start micro. The way you start to become disciplined and consistent is first of all, you need to see discipline as an act of self-love. This is me showing up for myself. This is me showing myself what I actually deserve. And I'm not gonna let myself down like so many other people may have done in the past. I will keep my word. And second is what I've just mentioned, you're gonna keep your word. And at first you're gonna make your word very small, okay? You're gonna commit to very small things that you know you can stick to. The easier it is, the better. If it feels too easy, that is good. That means you can stick to it, okay? I know it's not as exciting as changing your entire life in a day, but that way actually works. Let's move on to a bit of a lighter one, your appearance. There are obviously so many like physical glow up videos and things you can do and treatments you can get and XYZ. The list is endless and it can get a bit overwhelming. So one thing that makes this very, very easy is to ask yourself, what is that one thing that when I do this to my appearance, it makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. It zips me up in my confidence suit, like it just makes me that girl. For you, it might be having a tan or having amazing nails all the time or beautiful hair or an amazing outfit, like pick one thing that genuinely makes a big, big difference for you and how you feel about yourself and just commit to doing that consistently. So if that means you create a schedule for your tanning routine so that you can be tan all the time, if that means getting a nail appointment consistently, just figure out what that one thing is for you. For me, it's always been my hair and my skin. I used to have a lot of acne for many, many years and I was very insecure about it. So nothing makes me feel better than like an amazing skin day when my skin is glowing, it's looking healthy, it's clear. There's just nothing that makes me feel more confident. So I will definitely invest my time and my money into getting really, really good treatments, getting really good devices, amazing skincare, like that is important to me because it makes a big difference. One of those treatments for me is an at-home treatment that I've been obsessed with and it's so quick and easy. It's amazing, it makes such a big difference. It's the Amiro R3 Turbo. This video is actually sponsored by Amiro, but this is seriously incredible. First of all, it's so nice and sleek and it's the perfect 
perfect size so I can take it with me whenever I travel. I actually got the limited edition gift set, which is so luxurious, gorgeous. Like the packaging is incredible. I feel like it would make for such an amazing Christmas gift for someone who's really into their skincare. There are three different ways you can use it, three different modes. There's the eye area special care mode. So I like to do this with an eye mask and it just really helps with puffiness and anti-aging. The V contour emergency mode, which targets your jawline to make your skin more firm and defined. And the full face anti-aging mode. It has a flat radio frequency head that stimulates heat in the deeper layers of the skin, which basically promotes collagen formation. And it also has EMS, which basically tones and tightens the skin by lightly contracting facial muscles. And the flat head design is really good. It fits your skin perfectly and it's really nice and smooth. I mostly use this in the mornings because my face is so puffy my eyes my whole face looks so much puffier and rounder for some reason it's always been that way but i use the v contour emergency mode for just four minutes in the mornings and it just kind of sculpts your eyes to help with that eye puffiness sculpts your jaw and it just makes your whole face look a lot firmer and your skin is a lot glowier and my makeup always looks chef's kiss if i do this before plus it's also such like a nice luxurious experience to do in the morning like a little self-care moment we we love that oh and also my skin is very sensitive and this does not irritate my skin at all which is huge for me so if you'd like to try it out for yourself or get it as a gift for someone you can actually use my code Erchul. it's e-r-c-u-l-j so you can get extra 50 dollars off i'll have everything in the description box and i really hope you love it as much as i do now let's talk about dating this one exercise i did i think like five years ago and it honestly changed the course of my dating life and relationships it is incredible and you can even do it if you're in a relationship just to get to know yourself and it's really interesting to do. So it is called the ghost partner exercise. So what you're going to do is you're going to write the names of your most significant partners, boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. This can also be someone you had a situationship with or dated and it just left like a big mark, whether it was really hard to get over or you learned a lot from it or it was just really intense basically anyone that was very significant to you. So you're gonna write your names one next to the other. You can do up to five. And for each one, you're gonna write a list of their positive and negative qualities. So you're gonna write, let's say, confident, uh, selfish, good style, great communication, money focused, whatever you can think of. And you're gonna write either a plus if it's a positive quality next to it, or a minus for a negative quality. So you're gonna do this for each one and then you're gonna look at these lists and see the qualities that keep repeating. So let's say three out of your five partners were really selfish or two out of three were really confident. So you're gonna circle the positive qualities that kept repeating and then you're gonna highlight the negative qualities that kept repeating. And then you're gonna draw a circle draw a little line in the middle and on top you're going to write those positive qualities that kept repeating on the bottom the negative qualities that kept repeating and that is your ghost partner that is who you're unconsciously attracted to when someone asks you what do you want in a partner we all say someone who's honest loyal kind blah 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 like all these amazing things and then a lot of people end up with someone who is not honest or kind or whatever. They cheat, they lie, they do, you know, whatever. So there's a disconnect here and that's because you have unconscious attractions that you're not really aware of. Once you do this exercise, you'll become so aware of these things when you meet people. Like those qualities will be blatant very quickly and then you can decide, do I want this again? Do I want something else for myself? It's such, such, such an amazing exercise. I highly recommend to everyone. Now let's talk about an exercise that is equally as life-changing, but it gives you such a good objective view of where you are versus where you wanna go. And that's kind of hard to get because it's hard for us to see ourselves very objectively because there's so much going on and it's almost impossible. So this exercise is amazing. It's called the Wheel of Life. I've talked about it before, but we're gonna add a little extra step. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for a Wheel of Life online. It looks like this. It's basically a circle with different areas of your life, different categories of your life. So there's like relationships, community, uh, finances, etc. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at each of these individually and you're gonna mark your current satisfaction level. So where you feel like you are right now. So let's say 
for relationships, you're currently dating, and you're not really happy with it, and you feel like you're at a five. And then you're gonna mark where you want to be. Now you can decide if you want this to be in the next three months or in the next year. So let's say next year you want to be at an eight. So you're gonna do this for every single one, and then you're gonna look at all of these and see the top three where that gap is the biggest. Those are the areas that you're gonna wanna focus on when you are setting your goals or deciding what you wanna change in your life. That's gonna make the biggest difference and it's clearly what you wanna change or work on. Let's say one of the categories for you is relationships. So you're gonna write where you are versus where you want to be. So you can see very clearly what's going on and what you actually want. And then after that, you can decide on your goals and habits and like figure all of that out, but you need that foundation and that awareness. And this exercise is amazing for that. The next one is just a simple question that you can ask yourself whenever you're choosing something for yourself, whether it's you going throughout your day and figuring out what you wanna do, saying yes to plans, saying yes to projects, whatever it is. So you're gonna ask yourself, does this support the person I am becoming? Or does this support the life I'm trying to create? Pick one, whichever sparks more feelings for you. And then you can ask that question again all the time. And it feels like a cold shower when you're about to choose an unhealthy habit that you've had and then you ask yourself this and you're like oh maybe not that maybe let's do something else it's just a really really good thing to start practicing and it's so so easy okay we need to talk about your finances because this is the time that you can really set yourself up for success and you're going to be so happy and grateful when you look back on your life and you're like thank god i listened to nika and i started doing this so if you're currently starting from scratch you feel like you don't really know a lot about finances you're just kind of you get paid you spend your money and that's just how it is this is where you're gonna start. You are going to create your emergency fund. An emergency fund is basically a savings account for emergencies only. So it's money you set to the side so that if something goes wrong, if your car breaks down, if your pet needs emergency vet care, if you, God forbid, lose your job or something goes wrong, that is the money set aside for that only. New shoes is not an emergency. A random trip to Croatia you decided to go on on a random Tuesday is not an emergency, okay? emergencies only <laughs> the amount of money you put into this emergency fund is going to depend on you the framework is basically three to six months of your basic expenses so you're going to figure out how much money you realistically need in a month and then you're going to either choose to save three months worth of that or six months worth of that i decided to save for six months just because that made me feel a lot safer it's like a nice little cushion it feels good it gives you so much security and then it's so much easier to have a positive mindset around money to not be stressed about money to even make more money to be honest because it frees up that stressful energy around money and that really makes a big difference at least it did for me so I highly recommend I made a whole video about this where I talk about budgeting saving building your emergency fund so I'm gonna link that down below if you want to get into budgeting I'm gonna link my favorite budget down below that makes me so happy just looking at it it brings me so much joy <laughs> so I've tried a lot and that one is my go-to next up is chat gpt okay and you're gonna learn to use chat gpt to help you create your dream life so what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down and you're gonna write a list of what you want your ideal life to look like what your dream version of you looks like and you're gonna go really into detail okay the more information you give it the better what hobbies do you partake in what healthy habits do you have routines how are you with friendships relationships what goals have you achieved just really go into as much detail as you can and then ask chad gpt to write your day in the life as if you have already achieved all of this and you can also ask it to write affirmations to go with that so you can read this every single day you can also do this more focused on one particular thing so let's say you're looking for a relationship and that is currently like your biggest goal your biggest dream so again you can very specifically write what you want what qualities you want how you want to show up in the relationship what the relationship feels like, how often you see each other, like just anything you can think of. And then you can ask it to write your first date. You can even tell ChatGPT how you want this to be written. So let's say you read romance books. So just write that you want it to be written like that, like an actual story, a bit of a longer one. And then you can ask it to write a shorter one so you can read it every day, affirmations. You can even ask it for advice of where you could potentially meet this person. Like it really is is such an amazing tool you can use it for so many things so these are just some ideas 
and now you can go to town. <laughs> Next up is a mindset that is going to change your life. You're gonna get your power back, your confidence, you're gonna become resilient, unstoppable, okay? Basically the opposite of being a victim, which I feel like is so popular nowadays for some reason. That's not you, okay? No. The mindset is you can't change what happens to you but you can change what it means. So something bad happens to you, something doesn't go right, you fail at something, a relationship falls apart, you get cheated on, whatever, whatever it is. Pain is, I got cheated on. That feels awful. I feel betrayed, I feel hurt. That is the pain. Suffering is you putting a meaning to that that is not helpful. So you creating a meaning that now, it must mean that I am not worthy of love. It must mean that I'm not lovable. I'm never gonna find someone. I'm never gonna be with someone who's gonna be loyal. Men who are loyal don't exist. Men are trash. Like that is the meaning you're attaching to the experience and the pain that is not helpful. Like it doesn't actually make your life easier. It doesn't make you feel better. And it's not gonna help you to create the life that you actually want. Like, do you want those things? Do you want to not be lovable? Do you want to not be worthy of love? Do you want to be with the cheater? Like, no. So let's change that, okay? Your mindset is your own. And if you need to be delusional to have something that's gonna help you up here, then you're gonna be delusional, okay? I swear to God, this has changed and saved my life. Let's go back to the cheating example. So right now you're making it mean all of these things. How can you change that meaning? You're gonna sit down, grab your journal, you can talk to a friend, whatever helps you, and you're gonna ask yourself, how has this changed me in a positive way? What have I learned from this? How can I now move on in a better way because of what I know? Whatever happened to you, you cannot change it. And if you're beating yourself up about choosing the wrong thing or failing or whatever, you need to understand that right now you have the knowledge because you have gone through it. Before, you didn't. So that's why you made those decisions. But now you do have that knowledge. Write down what it is and why you will now choose differently and show up differently. It's actually very, very simple, but I get that it is sometimes comfortable to be in like a victim narrative and feel bad for yourself. You need that time, I get it. But at some point, you need to realize that you're an adult, you are responsible for your life. And even though you can't change what happened, you can change what it means and who you are going to be despite of it. Next up, you're gonna create a board for yourself, which is gonna be proof of why you are amazing, beautiful, smart, deserving, worthy of love, worthy of whatever you want. This is gonna be something you can go to when you feel down about yourself, when you're doubting yourself, when just things are not going your way and you are in the slump, okay? It happens to the best of us and sometimes you just need a reminder and who better to create that reminder for you than yourself because you know yourself the best. So this board can be totally up to you. You can create an actual collage of it. You can do a whole notion board. You can just write it like whatever floats your boat. On this board, you're gonna showcase your amazing qualities, your past successes and contributions Big or small, I helped my sister through a breakup or I won a spelling bee when I was five or I got this degree, like literally anything you can think of. You can even ask your friends and family for some help and you can even add your potential to this board. So because I feel like I'm a good writer and I am a very good problem solver, I feel like I could write an amazing self-help book or have an amazing self-help podcast or X, Y, Z. So again, this is gonna be a representation of why you are amazing. Last but not least, you're gonna create your dopamine menu. Your dopamine menu basically consists of things that you can do to get that hit of dopamine, to make you feel good, motivated, and happy. So it looks like an actual restaurant menu. So you've got your starters, which are gonna be like five to 15 minute long tasks. So maybe that's pinning on Pinterest for five minutes, or maybe it's updating your budget or making your bed. Then you've got your mains, which are the big things, so the things that take a bit longer. Maybe that's a Pilates class, going for a walk, doing an everything shower. Your sides are what's gonna go along those mains to make it easier to get started with. So maybe if you go for a walk, listening to a podcast would be an amazing side. It just makes going for a walk easier. And then desserts are gonna be those more indulgent things. So maybe that's binging a few episodes of Gilmore Girls. So that's just a few examples, but I actually made a whole video about a dopamine menu where I explain everything in much more detail and I give you so many examples and ideas for each one of these. So I'm gonna have that link down below, 
But that is it for this video. I really hope it helped you. I have no idea how long this is gonna be, so we're gonna see. I feel like we covered so much, and I know there's a lot of exercises and things to do, but just pick and choose what you feel like is actually gonna make a difference. And of course, you don't have to do this all in one day. Like, take your time. You now have these resources that you can use when you need them. If you liked this video, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out my social media if you wanna see more of my personal life and connect more. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you very, very soon.